back to Live on Bowen, coming to you from the Melbourne CBD now. Tonight's guest is the holder of nine world records. He's a stilt walker, a fire breather and stunt performer who's published four books on circus history and has just opened the first vaudeville theatre in Melbourne in nearly 50 years. Please welcome Australia's Circus King, Roy Malai! <laughs> Got to see. Wow. Now, you are Australia's Circus King. How do you get the title of Australia's Circus King? Um, I won it in a bar fight, actually. You did? <laughs> Is that right? It was that or the, the, you know, the meat tray with the chicken wings. And... Yeah, right. Dubbo's a crazy place. You, <laughs> you do do a lot of regional work, don't you? I perform on average at about 58 agricultural shows a year, wow. maybe a dozen festivals and a couple of rodeos. Amazing. Yeah, so, and, and in conjunction with that, when I get the time, also has historically been a stack of cabaret shows as well in, in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. Um, but I, I guess you, you named it, you know, um, we've just turned, myself and a couple of show partners and um, my partner, we've turned our attentions to opening the first vaudeville club in Melbourne, exclusively vaudeville in Melbourne since the Tivoli closed in 1966. Now, a lot of people are going to be sitting at home saying, what on earth is a vaudeville yeah. theatre? Because I didn't know at the yeah. start. Well, tell us, what is a vaudeville theatre? Yeah, it's, um, look, it's, for me, I've always grown up around it. You know, I, I ran away um, to perform. And you, you, you ran away to join the circus? Yeah, I literally... No, I <laughs> you literally, are the real deal! No, I literally <laughs> did. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you know, circus, there's that, that idiom that you run away with the circus. I literally did. I just stopped going to school and we go into Melbourne and busk and I just kept meeting people that kept me going me further. But um, vaudeville is, is a, a style of theatre that's not necessarily in rows. You fight for your stool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you buy your beer. You watch a, a knife throw, a sword swallow, a fire breather, dancing penguin, burlesque, boylesque, um, 20 acts a night, all three minutes. Boylesque. Boylesque, yeah. Boylesque. I'm not flirting, but thank you. <laughs> You have nine world records. Yes, I do. That is a lot of world records. How many, how many uh, medals does Kathy Freeman have? I, I believe she has four world records. Four world records. <laughs> Kathy Freeman, you have nine. Uh, yeah? How about that? Tell, tell me about your nine world records. Um, I have... Uh... Can I get some? In, in perfect honesty, when it's your job, you, you become a bit complacent. But um, the... let me refresh your memory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a record here for the tallest stilts ever walked on. We've actually got a piece of your oh, you stilts do? around here. Can I just now? <laughs> oh, the actual. This stilts? is this is a, these were these aren't this isn't the tallest stilts, by the way. Uh, we've got a picture on the screen there. There you go. These are the real ones on the screen right now. Now, how tall? Yeah were those stilts? So that's 57 foot tall, which is 17 metres or five storeys up. Five storeys. So we partnered with um, the Adelaide Training Facility for the Fire Brigade. Yep. And um, when I came to the bottom of the tower, I prepared a media statement, because we had Google News, Yahoo News, 9, 7, 10, SBS, they were all in this scrum. And wow. I walked out and they said, how was it? And I said, that was the most terrifying thing that's ever happened to me. And it went around the world. Wow. That was my moment of Because I actually, you can log on to YouTube and have a look at that yeah. clip. The stilts actually bow from the sheer length of them yeah. whilst you're walking on them, which is just amazing. Now, other things we've got here, heaviest weight on the bed of nails. Now, yeah. that's not a go at your, your body type there. That's actually a weight put on top of you. Yeah. A heaviest weight on you, so you on a bed yeah. of nails. So forklift puts a, you lay on the bed of nails, and, and that's not so much of a feat in and of itself, but then you have a forklift put a half tonne slab of ice on your chest and then have it <sighs> smashed with sledgehammer. So that's a pallet squared. Wow, yeah. that's, that's oh, I wouldn't insane. have put the shirt on if I weren't. Um, <laughs> we've got uh, he heaviest weight on stilts. Now that's the actual stilts themselves. So the stilts are made from telephone poles? Stilts made from telephone poles, why, why wouldn't you? Um, <laughs> longest distance, uh, longest distance for so three metre stilts in one hour. Yeah, so uh, charging along on stilts in an hour. In uh, an hour. 6.2k. Uh, fastest one kilometre walk on three it's minutes. It's basically Did you get running. that on the same day? No, no, different days. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just like two for the price of one. No, I'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, most, uh, this is my favourite, just put because of how it sounds. Most fireballs breathed in 60 minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just see your mate sitting there on the couch while everybody's kicking around having a pizza and watching a movie, just going, oh, Yeah, it pretty well oh. is. You know, like, <laughs> the record was, um, I, I think it was 100 in an hour, and it was an Englishman. Um, from the 80s, um, Dougie Danzig, yeah. and 
I put my back into it and punched out 501 in 20 minutes. Yes. And um, I just had chemical burning all down my front for about five days, blisters. Oh, and, yeah. So yeah. that took its toll, that one. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, now, um, there's, there's got to be a lot of injuries involved as far as doing this kind of thing. Um, so... Well, don't what's try the, it at what's home. The yeah. What's the trick, though? Well, try I mean, at your because house. what's that? <laughs> don't try it at home. Try it at your mate's house. What's the actual trick? So, <laughs> what's the actual trick so you don't get injured? Oh, there's no trick, though. I guess um, when it's a world record, you've got to do two things. You, you illustrate um, that you can do what you're saying. You say you're going to do something, you do it. Right. But you have to, without any shadow of a doubt, you've got to prove that there were no tricks. So the bed of nails we got the mayor from Glen Orkey yep. uh, gave me this actually. The um, had to sign stat decks to say this is bona fide, real nails, bought at Bunnings, receipt, actually, mm. <laughs> continuous footage of the whole thing. Um, you've got to weigh the block of ice, for example. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so there can't be any room for that. And, and World Record Holders Republic in London and New York do send stuff back and say, provide this as well, mate. They... So you must have had injuries then? What are you, what are you... Uh, well, that particular one, I broke two ribs just close to the oh. spine. Um, and when that happens, you fit. There is the risk, I'd known the risk, the, if they pop, you can cascade, and, and that means all your ribs go bum, 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 and you just... Ooh. Um, yeah. <laughs> doesn't sound nice, does but, um, it? No. You know, I felt the first one go, and the second one went towards the end, and I, I knew I was... You're but just then like, they, they oh, look, I've got a few more that's going to hold the rest of it in yeah, place. Yeah, so, you know, <laughs> like... And then they pulled me off the nails, which are to the bone at that point. Yeah, and again, you can see this on YouTube. Uh, that's, PG, that's crazy. 13 minute mark. Uh, what I thought was quite funny is that you put your jacket, there was kids around, and he jumped up and put his jacket on really fast afterwards, because uh, I'm like, let me have a look at his back. The jacket went straight yeah. on. I could just see there would have been a, like a million holes can, with blood dripping out. You can out touch of me thing. later. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's what you want, man. I'm open-minded, just stay away from my kids. All right, look, now, um, 